Capricorns, it is the Sun Sage doing another December reading for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising to see what's going on in your love life currently and what's coming in. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Please keep in mind that these are general messages that may not resonate for everyone. Just check out a different reading. Um, but yeah, don't make it fit if it's not your story. But let's see what's going on for Capricorns in love right now. All right, what's going on for Capricorns in love right now? Acceptance. Okay, and let's see what's coming in for Capricorns in love. Let's see what's coming in for Capricorns in love. Free spirit, okay? So, um, some of you may be, um, freeing up learning to trust which takes a lot of stress off of you okay so a lot of you could be dealing with somebody who is accepting all right this connection i had i was i split the deck and i had this here this is the sun and the king of cups energy so some of you may be dealing with a leo or a scorpio here very passionate energies. Also, um, a lot of you could be uh, accepting with that sun, something has come to light that you really love with that King of Cups, someone or someone is accepting that they really love you here. So this acceptance feels like maybe you've been trying to push too hard against the idea or notion that you were truly in love with somebody or that somebody loved you. And now it's to a place where it's like, I can't deny it anymore, right? So let's see what's going on right now for Capricorns in love. All right, let's see. We have Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, okay? What's going on right now for Capricorns in love? The King of Wands, more Leo energy, and that was in your pre-shuffle. So someone's definitely dealing with a Leo here. Um, we have the Five of Cups. What's going on in love with you right now? Capricorns and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so you guys are connected to someone, okay? It's a little up in the air where this is going, but you're connected to somebody. There is a passionate um, person here. This person I feel is very passionate about you, but you, you know, not intentionally, you may have sort of left this person kind of just to their own devices in this relationship, right? Um, at some point, you may have stopped giving your energy and time to this person, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. You chose to um, invest in yourself. You chose to invest in your career, right? So you had to stop giving energy or time, spending time with this person. Maybe you felt like it was taking your focus away. Um, somebody here feels really bad, right? That they didn't do um, that they didn't commit to, to a relationship here. So the 10 of swords feels like, uh, there was an ending here, or there's an ending of a concept that you can't have love and career. You can't be successful at love and have a su successful relationship. So it does feel like this is more of a mindset with that 10 of swords, but something is ending, right? Cause this is what's going on right now. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles here for what's going on in Capricorn's love life? Uh, the Eight of Wands is picking up, okay? It's picking up. Um, your love life is in a place where you guys are in control of it. And what I mean by that is your person feels like they don't move. They don't take any action unless they have the signal from you that it's okay to do so, right? You could be dealing with a really fast fire sign and sometimes they move too fast. So you have to, you feel like you have to kind of balance out, um, the, the, the speed of the connection and make sure you guys aren't rushing into anything, but your connection does feel like it's speeding up here. All right. Um, you may be feeling being like being more generous with your time with this person. Um, you may be feeling like closing the door on some old mindsets that you had. Ten of swords. Why is this here? Um, you guys have heard from somebody recently. Okay. Over the last six days, six weeks, you've heard from someone that, um, the king of swords that you could have cut off that you may, um, had stopped dealing with at some point. Um, because again, you made a head over heart decision. I do like this person. I do love this person. Whatever level of commitment that is, 
or somebody saying that about you, but I have to focus on my job. I have to focus on, you know, my money, right? The new year's coming. I have to get this building. Um, I have to, you know, build this business or whatever it is. The king of swords is they don't play. They, they're about their business. And that could certainly be your energy as well. But a lot of you were dealing with somebody who prioritized their future, right? Buildings building for their future and they didn't really have time to a pentacle they were kind of trying to balance everything and said balance right um somebody feels here like they have to sacrifice one for the other if i want to be really successful and have a whole lot of money here i can't do relationship or if i really if i want a really successful relationship i have to lower my expectations when it comes to work so um i do feel like uh some of you or the person that you're dealing with is now starting to feel bad about that right they they did at the time what they felt like was best for their future now the heart is warming. Okay. King of wands. There's a, this, this person is, is coming back your way or, or you are showing up in someone's life and, and you're missing them. You're attracted to them. Um, yes, the fool, you want a new start with them, right? Um, that's why this ten of swords is here. So this isn't a scary thing at all, right? It's something that had to end. You guys may have gone through a really rough patch, okay? Over the last 10 months, there may have just been some big changes in your life and you had to cut people off. Your person just became a part of that, right? So you didn't want to, but you did. Now you feel like you're a lot healthier, a lot stronger. You feel like you're looking better, okay? You're taking good care of yourself. Um, people are noticing you in this King of Wands energy. You're laughing a little bit more. You're showing a little more skin, Capricorn. You're feeling a little more confident. So now you feel like you have this new energy and you're ready to go back to this situation, Five of Cups, that you already had some regrets about, you know, what happened there, right? So why is this Five of Cups here? Um, I feel like you are, are taking stock of kind of like, um, yep. Page of Swords. It's like you're evaluating this situation. You're curious to see if it could really work. You haven't really given it the chance that it deserved, possibly. And now you're getting another go at it. Okay. You've been watching this person. They've been watching you. You guys have been uh, thinking about each other here. Um, I do feel like someone's name has come up in a conversation with their person in their friend group. Um, or your friends are asking about this person. And when they do, it triggers this emotion. You miss them, right? Some of you are missing your divine counterpart, especially if they're a fire energy. We have Emperor Aries here. We also have uh, Leo with that King of Wands, um, even an Aquarius. So um, there are two powerhouse energies here who are really missing each other and who want to come back together. Um I do feel like um, what's going on in your love life right now is someone may have a, a friend or a family member that doesn't approve of the relationship with that five of cups. So maybe that person's opinion got the better of you. And that's why a part of the reason why you left this person alone, right? Because of something your family member said or something a friend was saying. However, you're starting to reconsider this, right? The will of fortune here. You want to give it another chance. Um, yeah. Yeah, four of wands. You want to see what's what's uh what can come of this. A lot of you never really gave up hope with this person. You just had to stop dealing with them to get your mind right, or they had to stop dealing with you, Capricorn, to get themselves together. This person has marriage on the mind, okay? Especially if they are a fixed energy. That's why we keep seeing Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. They have marriage on the mind, long-term on the brain here. So this person wants a better relationship with you. They want more communication with you. Um, they're ready to come in, but they've been disappointed with how things have gone between you guys in the past. So is it a, is it a good time now, right? Can we make this happen? So what's coming in for you guys in Love is free spirit. You're freeing up some of that energy that you've held back. Okay. Your, your passions and what you really want out of life. You've held back a little bit. Yep. Nine of wands. You've been very defensive, right? Trying to keep people away from you. Don't fall in love with me, please. I, I don't need that. But someone has fallen in love with you anyway. Capricorn, what is this coming in? Nine of cups. <laughs> You're not going to be able to help yourself. Okay, this person is strong. 
Okay, this person is very strong with that nine of wands. They're able to, to lower your defenses here with the nine of cups, right? You go from a nine of wands to a nine of cups. So they are able to lower your defenses. The nine of cups is, you know, that wish fulfillment. This is something you could have always wished for. I want somebody who can handle me. I want somebody who sees me as, you know, a trophy or somebody who knows that I'm worth having and they're willing to fight for me. And that's exactly what it feels like you guys have. Somebody who's not going to just go away easily. They're going to fight for this. Four of Pentacles. They want to secure something with you. They want to hold on to this connection. All right. The moon. Okay. You guys are dealing with a Pisces. Um, you can have Pisces energy and the five of swords. So what's coming in for love is um, <laughs> some real like uh, dealing with some real stuff. OK, real shadow work, um, looking at, you know, you or this person are really going to be looking at some things, some some traits that they had that were very self-destructive. Right. To this relationship that sabotage this deep connection. That's what's coming in, all right? Um, with these energies that are coming through, I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, for the new year, they're rethinking things and, and looking back at themselves and some of the steps that they've taken and the actions that they've made. And they're like, I don't know if, if that's in alignment with who I am. So you're connected to somebody here who's willing to give, who's willing to fight for you, okay? Who's willing to uh, have the life of their dreams with you. But there are some energies that could still be remaining that you need to break free from right your lack of trust perhaps um feeling like you can't be faithful perhaps for some scorpios what is this nine of wands ace of cups exactly the person you're dealing with is not playing okay they love you they don't want to give up this is why they're fighting so hard is because their heart is in it their heart is pure I feel like whoever you're dealing with has already beat out the competition five of wands you may have been dealing with somebody when they came into the picture now that person is gone. This person is the last man standing. I mean, they are really coming in, showing you that they want this, this pure, genuine love with you. And I feel like this is something that you've been, you've been not wanting to do for some time. Look at this nine of wands kind of glaring at this eight of cups. I mean, this ace of cups, like stay away from me, you know? Um, there's something about falling in love and being vulnerable that you guys have been free from for a long time i feel with this free spirit and the idea of going back into another committed situation it's a little scary to some of you the moon and the five of swords here it's very scary to some of you all right um why is this nine of cups here for what's coming in love for capricorn Knight of Wands. If this person is a fire energy, they're persistent. They are not giving you up. King of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. I'm just letting you guys know, fire sign energies do not play about the person that they want. They're very assertive. And I feel like you are what this person wants. Uh, Sagittarius energy here. Um, You have, though... I want to say somebody, a Capricorn, has the best sex of their life with this person. There's a really intense union or, or connection here where it's like the best you've ever had, okay, or the best they've ever had. There's something about you guys being together where it really just, it 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 really puts things in perspective for this person. Not only have I never experienced this, what's the chance, the likelihood that I'm going to experience this again? And that's why somebody is being very persistent here, right? Wanting that new chance with you. What is this for? Pentacles, they're holding on. Yeah, the six of wands, more fire energy. They're holding on. Um, this person is holding on because they you're the prize. You're the prize, right? Um, you guys could be holding on to someone too, especially if they're a fire sign. This is not an energy I feel a lot of you want to get rid of. Okay, that's a very strong energy showing up fire signs. They're irresistible to you. You're irresistible to them. You guys are pretty much holding on to each other energetically and otherwise. Neither of you want the other to move on, to find someone else. You want to conquer this person's heart with the uh, six of wands here. There is victory in, in holding on to each other, though. Right. This does feel like it can be a successful relationship. Um, somebody needs to stay in the house more or somebody will stay in the house more and spend time with someone else um 
uh, for what's coming in for you, Capricorn. You feel like you can have a better relationship with this person when you guys are in, not when you're online together or posting pictures. Somebody is dealing with a person in Capricorn. I wouldn't be surprised if this was you who does not want their relationship posted online. Okay. Um, that's how you feel like you can have the most peaceful, successful relationship with this person that there's a lot of love here. What is this moon energy? All right. Um, why is this moon here for what's coming in for Capricorns in love? It's temperance. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm picking up shame, ashamed. Somebody has gone through a lot and, and, um, they really want their privacy sometimes, right? To heal, to be alone, to be left with their, their wounds so that they can heal properly. Um, I don't feel like this is anything personal against the love interest, whether this is you or this person towards you. This person just needs some time alone sometimes, Capricorn, or you do. Um, there's a lot of healing that takes place in the silence when they're not hearing from you or when you're not hearing from this person. They are doing the healing work though, right? Um, I also feel like Sagittarius season, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, is a healing time for, for you and, and whoever you're connected to because um, there's, there's something about um, going through things alone is not how you want it to always be, right? I don't want to always deal with with stuff alone I want to be supported I want to have somebody there to comfort me so I feel like you guys are starting to open up you've been free of relationships and commitment um five of swords here I feel like um a lot of you have sabotaged really good connections or this connection at times eight of pentacles I do feel like you're doing better you're gonna work harder the king of cups um, energy. There's true love here between two people for sure. That five of swords is a win at all cost energy, right? Um, I, I also feel like, um, there's something here about someone putting like, realizing that, yeah, I may have to cut some hours at work. If I really want to have a, su a successful relationship, I can't keep saying I'm working or I'm busy or I don't have time. If you really want to have this with this person, it feels like there are going to be some sacrifices made. Again, this is being done out of love. You guys are making sacrifices. They're going to make sacrifices. But the big thing is that there's a, a, a relationship here that has been hurting for some time because there's just been an imbalance of time spent together investment more from one person than the other and it feels like what's coming in is a more trusting freer energy okay if i do this for you, you 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 have to you know be there for me when i need you know whatever it is you're compromising on making decisions on together in your daily life i feel like that that energy is coming in for you because you guys really want this to work with someone Okay, so that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Happy holidays, and I will talk to you soon.